And we, the people, we also hear courage and creativity. We hear Tanya Leon, born and raised in a working class Havana, surrounded by the varied sounds of Cuba and the fusion of cultures and music. A young child who danced to the radio not long after she learned to walk. At age four, her grandmother enrolled her in a music conservatory. She trained into her 20s to be a classical piano player and broadened a, and boarded a freedom flight in Miami in the wake of the Cuban Revolution as days later landed in New York City. Over the next six decades, she became one of the most important classical composers and conductors of our time. During the Civil Rights Movement, she co-founded the Dance Theater in Harlem, the country's first black classical ballet company. She also conducted the world-renowned New York Philharmonic and worked with the Brooklyn Philharmonic to bring classical music beyond concert halls into city neighborhoods. She led symphonies in South Africa to, from South Africa to Germany. A mentor and a professor, she champions new composers, earning dozens of honors. Her versatility, her vision, her defying labels, her deepening Latin American influence in classical music. It was President Kennedy who laid the groundwork for the freedom flights that brought Tiana to America. 55 years later, she now receives the Kennedy Center honors. And we thank her, thank her for breathing new sounds into the soul of the nation.